All right, for reasons unknown to me, my camera stopped, but I don't know how long we're going to stay at this. Uh, I have Indian in me as well. Nobody has murdered nor raped me this evening. people filming. I don't think anyone here has filmed anything that resembled an assault. If you want to go get signatures, otherwise I'm going to have to quit doing this and do that. One of us has got to do that. You want? I can go too. If not, I'm going to finish getting him getting arrested. By revolution, I believe they mean socialist revolution, which for those of you who are new to the show is what is currently destroying Venezuela. Put him in the pokey, Calvin. said one thing we currently agree on here at the correct views. here Monday at the protests. Uh, those groups that have been handing out water free to everyone on both sides for two days. I haven't seen any today, but I have no reason to doubt that they stopped. The relief groups are handing out water to both sides. At least they were yesterday. Uh, Monday, excuse me, listeners. And I do believe the water is on the way. So, I don't know if it's going to them or not. It's hard to say. Once again, listeners, I respect
check what they're doing. I'm at least happy they're not sitting home playing Sega. But as it stands, I think they're blaming the wrong enemy. Benefiting greatly from being short. seen protesters arrested before and there's nobody else in their group any round sticking up for them. So it, it looks, I'm gonna guess here listeners, no facts, it looks like this one group of people did something as a group to get arrested. Um, I don't see anybody else, even the any anti-Trump people that have come to their uh, aid by chanting for them. So it looks like an isolated group. If they're hollering red, my guess is socialism. Again, I am currently guessing here on the correct views. I guess you call it the correct guesses. There's a difference between America could have been greater or could be greater and America was never great. Pay close attention to what they're saying. We can be greater, but pay attention to what they're saying. That's not what they're saying. In other words, your job didn't count. What you paid into the system didn't count. You personally were never great. That's what they're chanting, whether they know it or not. to add that America greatly abused the slaves and then quickly abolished the slave, the slave trade. America was the first major country to do so. Does that justify it happening? No. But the fact that we ended it was in fact great. That is somehow lost on these particular protesters.
it's funny that he told them to go home when they're being arrested. That wasn't really an option either. Call me Captain Obvious here at the Correct Views. Uh, yeah, this is definitely the plan here. They're trying to, you know, make a megaphone to broadcast that message over there instead of the message of the convention, which is by far a message of unity and people of America loving their country wanting to fix their problems and corruption. And these people want communism, which is insane. Yeah, you said that you come from the Eastern Bloc, but um, you, you identify as an American. What would you say to people who come here and feel like they sort of identify with Mexico or whatever country they're in? I think it basically is treason. Uh, I identify as American, I'm an American citizen. I went through the legal process to become an American. I follow all the rules and all the laws, and I think it's a great privilege to be here. This is the best country to be in, the freest country, and it's given me prosperity and freedom. But uh, this freedom is going away as we speak, thanks to people like these over there, and the mainstream media which condones them and it gives them a broadcasting platform so that this radicalization and far-left extreme ideology can take over America. So Americans need to cherish what they have, and the solid foundation which they are built on and this country has given them so much they need to cherish that but unfortunately so many americans do not understand the threat of marxism which is currently basically taking over the country it's very very dangerous all right thank you very much uh, i'm holding this over a van so you uh, listeners are probably seeing this better than i am at the angle that i'm at Listeners are going to have to forgive the angle. I am not leaving this spot for a second. And you just saw why. I don't hear you!